Welcome to the Grade 12 Biology, the Nervous System course. Today, I am going to talk about the human eye. If you have not done so already, I highly recommend you to download our free mobile app called Grade 12 Biology, the Nervous System Study App. A link is provided in our YouTube description. It has lectures, flashcards, and quizzes that are related to this topic. Again, it is completely free. And it is available on both iPhone and Android. The eye converts light into signals for the optic nerve. The inside of the eye is filled with fluid. Aqueous humor is a fluid in the eye that maintains the pressure and nourishes the cornea. Vitreous humor is a fluid in the eye that allows the transmission of light across the retina. Another purpose of this fluid is their ability in keeping the shape of the eye. The eye consists of three parts. From the order of outermost of the eye to the innermost is sclera, choroid, and retina. Sclera is the outer protective layer. Sclera includes the white substance of the eye and the central clear part, also known as the cornea. Chloroid is the middle layer and it includes the blood vessels for the eye. The innermost layer of the eye is the retina. The retina's purpose is to carry the visual senses to signals carry from the optic nerve. There are two types of cells in the retina, rods and cones. Rods responds and detects low intensive light. However, rods cannot detect color. Cones detect color and is split into three types of cones, which represents three colors, red, blue, and green. Each cone can only detect its own color and can only detect high intensity light. As such, in low light intensity environments, a person's vision is usually black and white. Rods are spread throughout in the retina, but the cones are very concentrated at the central back area of the retina, also known as the fovea. Human eye issues. The two most common issues for the human eye is nearsightedness and farsightedness. Nearsighted have the image being focused in front of the retina, whereas being farsighted is having the image being focused in behind of the retina. In both cases, nearsighted and farsighted can be corrected using glasses of different shape. This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes that are related to this lecture. 
Also check out our website um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye-bye.